Hello again, this is Dr. Michael Myers and I'm course lead faculty for BST 322, Introduction to Biomedical Statistics at National University in San Diego. In this short video today, I'm going to show you how to do a scatter plot and find a correlation value between two quantitative variables. So one way we can do that is just put some data into StatCrunch and you can follow along with me if you'd like. This is just some sample data that we've made up. But let's say, let's do something where we have a study where we have the number of months that a certain people or a family is in a debt reduction program and then we can look at their debt in thousands of dollars. So we would assume as the more months people are in the program their debt should go down so we should see a negative correlation here. So we can type these in for each family so some were in the program only one month and this was their debt, 3.4, so that would be $3,400, 3.8. Some of the families were in for two months, and this was their debt load, 1.6. So you see it's starting to go down here. And we have some in the program for three months. So this went down to 0.9, another went down 1.5, and these are not the same families but different families that we're following and then looking at one point in time at a certain time later. So this is just a simple uh, example of how you can correlate two, uh, two ver quantitative variables. So what we can do is to do, the, to graphic, uh, do this graphically, we can simply go to the graphics tab and now we're going to select scatter plot and that'll bring up a dialog box which will allow us to choose the variables that we want to do for our scatter plot. Okay, well, we'll try that. There we go. So in this data box, basically you're going to select your variables. So for most of these scatter plots, you want to put the variable you're interested in on the Y column. So the Y variable is tend to be the dependent variable or the one that you're interested in. Depending on what you're studying here though, it may not be very obvious which is a dependent independent variable in a scatterplot correlation. Here we're really interested in looking at the debt load, so that will probably be our y variable. What we're going to look at then on the y-axis is the debt, and we're going to look at on the x-axis, this tends to be our independent variable, we will look at the months that they're in the program. Okay, then we can click Next and we want to display the points. Now if we hit click lines that's going to just connect the dots. We don't want to do that here. But this one, polynomial order, if we click one here, this will do a basically a linear regression. So one order. So that'll give us a line in our scatter plot. And this is for again linear regression. The line size we can also make a little bit bigger for our graph. And we can make the point size 3 so we can see the points. And we click next. We can label our axes, so again the x-axis here is going to be our independent variable. So this would be the number of months that they're in the program. We could even type that out, so again we could put any label here we want. Our y-axis then is going to be their debt. And again we can give the graph a title. We can call it debt reduction. Debt reduction by time. We can put in grid lines, but here we probably don't want to do that. And so we just click Next. And we can use the default values and we click Create Graph. So doing this stat crunch easily makes this graph appear for us. So again, we have this linear regression. And as we might imagine, this is a negative correlation, right? Because we see the values go down as our x increases. The next thing we want to do, of course, is calculate the correlation or the r value. That's easily done in stat crunch. So I'll exit out of here, and to do this calculation, all we need to do is go to uh, the Stat tab. We can click on Summary Stats, Correlation, because that's what we're doing here to get the R value. We click on that. We can then select our variables. So we'll click, select both of these to correlate them. Click on Next. Now this is displaying the p-value. Now in this course we're not going to do p-values until the second or third week, so for right now we'll leave that blank. We just want to calculate our r-value. We click on Calculate, and there it calculates our r-value for us. Remember, r-values can vary between negative 1 and 1, so this is negative, which tells us we have a, a negative relationship, which is what we saw in the scatter plot. 
and it's pretty close to one just a pretty strong correlation as we as we saw that the more the people are in the debt program the more the x increases the more that this uh, decreases and it's a very strong correlation they seem to correlate very well together so that can then uh, give us our, our values we can just copy that and put it into our report and now going back to our scatter plot if we want to make that publication quality we can as we saw before click on the edit button we can change those fonts for our graphics output we can make those a little bit larger so we can see we can actually see what our graph looks like again we want to change that size probably up to 22 we can change the font as well and make our scatter plot very legible and then again for the graphics we just go to graphics scatter plot we're going to put the x as months the y as the debt load we're going to click points we're going to put that line in by clicking that polynomial order one first order our line size we're going to choose two three and again you can change these as you want to make a graph look better and better each time we're going to label these again our x is the months in the program the y is the debt again the title we can put there is the debt reduction or whatever we want to make the title to be click next and create graph and now as you see we've made a excellent scatter plot very legible so we have months in the program our debt load and our title there as well and again we can go up to options we can copy and paste this into our word program for our assignment or our final project or any other document we want to put this into so again this is a very quick and easy way for StatCrunch to generate a scatter plot and give you the correlation or the r value for two quantitative variables